All right, the canister is all set up. We're ready to hook up the filter now. And I have all kinds of whatnots that you need to put together. The intake, I'm going to show you what to do with that in just a second. The outflow, and these things actually come with suction cups. I put one on already, and this just snaps over top. And if this is your first time, you have one hose, but I've set it up already, so I've cut mine to length. Do not cut these until you are ready to set them up. Now, to cover this intake, we have a couple of options. If you don't cover this up, the trout, believe it or not, will fit in there. They will get sucked up into the filter. It's happened to me before. It's very sad. A couple of options. Here's a bag, you can cut this in half. Um, filter bags that I love, these work wonderful. The cheaper option, I bought a gigantic roll of this screen. Two dollars, I think more than I'll ever use and uh, this I've actually made a kick net if you set this in the water kick some down you can scoop up show the kids all the wonderful macro invertebrates I'm going to use this screen that you use on a screen door to cover my filter and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second okay here we go the one year I only put on one zip tie the baby trout ooh, are nice and curious they got down in there and they got sucked up I use three Cut them. I'll cut this off, make it look mm, not so great, but it's to save the trout. Alright, here it is. Not beautiful, but it will definitely save the trout. When you attach this, the rubber part of the intake goes into the cut piece of the hose, and you just kind of squeeze and twist, and there's not a lot of pressure, so it won't come apart. But you get in there like that, and then I've already put this on here, it's attached with a suction cup on the inside, and the long end, let me show you with this one, you can tell the long end, that's going to go outside, because when they click together, you want this to be outside the tank. Um, again, I don't know, if you do it backwards, I don't know that it'll be that much of a, of a big deal, but I put it in, and you want this to be hooked, it actually comes with another suction cup in there. Uh, but you want it to be maybe around there, you know, definitely not in the gravel, definitely not way up here like this. So somewhere in there, it doesn't really matter all that much. And then it'll kind of hook around, go around like that. This goes on top, and it will snap if you do it correctly. And it just takes a little bit of fidgeting. There we go, and things will snap together. And then once I get the suction cup in there, it'll stay perfect. Exactly the opposite from the intake, we're going to put the outtake. The only thing you have to know about this is when you bend it down, you do want the water to flow towards the, the side of the tank. So you're going to put it on kind of in an angle like this. Same thing, the rubber, kind of give it a squeeze, kind of twist it a little bit. And you could always twist it later when you get this. Um, oops. When it comes like this, you want this to be a little bit below the water level. It will be loud if it's not. Um, and you want it to go that way. Now, with placement, the outflow, you want the water, you'll see my chiller in the next part, you want the water to go out towards the chiller. My chiller is a little different, it kind of sits in the middle. So when you do this, kind of just plan ahead, watch the next part all the way through maybe before you set it up. But the water will flow that way and back into the intake. Last part, I'm going to show you how to hook up the filter down below. Okay, so the outflow is pointing to the side of the tank, kind of parallel. We'll flow over, the intake is all set up, and I have my two hoses coming down. Pretty easy, one says out on the filter, one says in. Um, this is where if you cut them too short, that would be a problem. <laughs> uh, the rubber part, I don't know if you saw that, pretty easy, goes on all the way down and then these actually go backwards of what you would think righty tighty I guess this would be clockwise right no counterclockwise and it'll seat and then this is my out flow same thing you just want to make sure that they are tight before you turn this on so we are going to plug this in hopefully it'll work if the water level is good this is locked in and this is the flow I have it off right now 
anytime it is off, you can take this off and uh, remove it and do whatever you want. I don't think you'll ever need to do that, but you can. So this is off. I'm ready to plug it in. And you'll hear it turn on. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm going to try it all the way on and just kind of watch. And give it a prime if you need to. But with the water, I'm going to prime it. With the water completely filled up, this shouldn't take very long. You can kind of see the bubbles. And you'll be able to feel the pressure, see the bubbles coming out. You got to fill all the line up with water. If there is a problem, you could always fill up, undo this, fill it up with a little bit more water in case you didn't completely fill it. Try it again. That dust you're seeing coming out, that's from the probably the Biomax or the ammo chips. When it gets hard to pump, you are close. It'll make some funny noises and then you're good. By the way, notice how it's cloudy. That's the stuff in the filter. Once it runs through, it will be okay. And I think we have liftoff. Oh yeah. Nice. It is that extra water. That is the key. And that's a filter. Coming up next, the chiller.